Now, you've no doubt heard of monarchs with the cognomen of the Great, for example, I suppose, Alfred the Great or Catherine the Great. You've even heard of ones called the Terrible, so Ivan the Terrible. Uh, you've heard of probably Pedro the Cruel, maybe, uh, and all sorts of other ones. And really, what's in a cognomen? And this is what today's episode of Tales from Beyond the Rabbit Hole is about. Uh, it's one of my favourite uh, things to do is to go through a list on Wikipedia on monarchs by nickname. And I came across this whilst reading uh, various history books. You know, you read about someone called Pedro the Cruel. You're kind of interested as to why they're the cruel. And then you start thinking about what other cognomens monarchs might have. And so I thought we could just take a look at a couple of them together. I will leave the link below to the Wikipedia page because it's kind of good fun. And some of them are just really, really funny. Uh, and then, of course, you know, it makes more sense when you read about the actual person. But we'll just go through them alphabetically. Of course, I won't pick off every one because there's loads of them. But I'll pick out some of the ones that I find to be particularly uh, amusing or interesting. Uh, so, for example, we'll start off with the cognomen The Abandoned. Yeah, John the First of Aragon was known as John the Abandoned, but he also was known as John the Hunter, as well as John the Lover of Elegance. What a wonderful <laughs> cognomen that is to have. Yeah, so as I say, if you want to read more about these particular people I mention, uh, the link to the page will be down below. Uh, if we go through Affable, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? You know, <laughs> Charles the Affable, King of France. <laughs> uh I do like ones where it's somebody slayer. So we have, uh, I can't remember his name, but we have the Bulgar slayer, uh, which I believe was one of the Byzantine uh, emperors, or maybe he was just one of the generals, I don't remember. But we do have Thomas the Albanian slayer, who was uh, Thomas of Epirus. So there we go. <laughs> and then for some reason, Sebastian of Portugal is known as Sebastian the Asleep. So whether or not he was <laughs> sleeping all the time, uh, suffered from narcolepsy, I have no idea. But, uh, you know, I've been slowly kind of going through the list. I haven't got to everybody, so I can't possibly tell you uh, what they all mean. But it is a fantastic rabbit hole that keeps you uh, reading if you're interested uh, in history. It's like the English Saxon king Ethelred the Unready. It's kind of like a joke, isn't it? But that was his name. <laughs> So, yeah, we've got the bad and the bald. We know some of those, of course. Yeah, we know Barbarossa. Uh, but, you know, if we go through... Uh, <laughs> being the bearded is kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, you have a few of those. Uh, for example, Eberhard the bearded. Egino the build the builded, the bearded. <laughs> but I suppose for us as book lovers, it's nice when we see the cogn cognomen, the 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 bibliophile or the book lover. So Manuel II of Portugal was known as Manuel the bibliophile, which is uh, which is kind of cool. And I think there are others as well. There's um, Colomon or Coloman of Hungary, who was known as Coloman the bookish, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what else have we got? Yeah, I always think the Black Prince is a kind of cool name, isn't it? Uh, though... Yeah, the blind. Uh, there's a few of them. Uh, yeah, John of Bohemia is one that we learn about at school. He was John the Blind of Bohemia. He was from the House of Luxembourg. And he fought in the Hundred Years' War on the side of France because the King of France was his, was his liege lord. Uh, so he did fight against the English. I believe he was at the Battle of Cressy. Uh, and that's probably that's where he met his end. Uh, so it was kind of a bit... Uh, uh, takes guts, I think, to charge into battle blind. Uh, of course, it's, uh, yeah, must be pretty terrifying uh, at the best of times, let alone not being able to uh, hear what's going on. Apparently, George V of Georgia was known as George the Brilliant. How wonderful is that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Basil II of uh, By Byzantium, the Bulgar Slayer. So, yeah. <laughs> dear, oh dear, it's great, isn't it? So, as I said, there are loads of them. Um... Let's go through a couple more. Yeah, I thought about writing the about, but I thought it'd be more fun if we just kind of go through it together. And, you know, as I say, you can listen to it or and, and you can go through the list as well. Uh, I don't think, yeah, being Vasily uh, 
the cross-eyed and actually being known as Vasily the Muscovian usurper as well. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the cruel, yes, we've got a few cruel ones. I mentioned already Pedro I of Portugal. Uh, we also have Boleslav of Bohemia. Uh, he's actually the brother of uh, the so-called good king Wenceslas, who actually wasn't a king at all. He was like a grand duke of Bohemia, but he was murdered by his brother and his brother had the cognomen uh, Boleslav the Cruel. And there was actually a Boleslav the Second of Poland as well, who's Boleslav the Cruel. So in this part of the world, there tend to be quite a few cruels, uh, as well as uh, Pedro of Portugal, Pedro of Castile. Actually, there's loads of them. Uh, Louis Louis the Eleventh of France, apparently, was Louis the Cruel. Uh, Sigurd of Norway. Robert the Second, Count of Flanders. Gaston the Fourth. Uh, yeah. Still, I, I would rather be perhaps Mark the Cruel than Mark the Curly, as Boleslav the Fourth of Poland was known. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, being something the damned is not a good one, or the accursed. Svatopluk the first of Kiev. Svatopluk, Svatopluk the damned. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Must be nice to be the desired as well. Ferdinand the Seven of Spain and Sebastian of Portugal. Ferdinand the Desired, Sebastian the Desired, how wonderful. Uh, I suppose the cognomen the devil is quite a, a good one. We've got one, of course, for, for Vlad II of Wallachia, better known as Dracula. Yeah, Vlad the Devil, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Louis V of France has rather a short straw, though. He's known as uh, Louis the Do-Nothing, Louis the Indolent, or Louis the Sluggard. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay. The Drunkard, that's quite a good one. You've got Michael the Third. Uh, he's a Byzantine emperor, as known as Michael the Drunkard. And then, oddly, an Ottoman emperor called Selim the Second was known as Selim the Drunkard. So that's not pretty good. That's not very good, is it? The Dung Named. Imagine that being Constantine the Fifth. Constantine the Dung Named. Uh, but if you want to really impress your friends, you could be uh, uh, Inca or Incha. The Earth Shaker. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. But you see what I mean? It's just uh, it's entertaining and fun to go down these particular rabbit holes. And, uh, you know, especially with things like Historathon on, on at the moment. You know, a lot of these people you've probably never heard of. I haven't heard of them. Um, you know, we have uh, ones called uh, The Fat, of course. Charles The Fat is a, is a famous one, isn't he? Uh, we also have Henry I of Cyprus, who was Henry the Fat. Uh, Ptolemy VIII of Egypt was also Ptolemy the Fat. But I guess these days, of course, they'll have to be called uh, Ptolemy and Charles the Enormous, uh, as we're not allowed to use the uh, expression fat. Ketil <laughs> uh, of Man was known as Ketil the Flat Nose, uh, which, is, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, we have uh, cognonyms referring to... Uh, fratricide, so you have Francis the First of Brittany, so Francis the Fratricide. The Generous, that's nice, Leopold the Generous. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, the Good, yeah, Good King so-and-so, yeah, we've got a few of those. Uh, good Memory, John the First of Portugal, known as John of the Good Memory. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what your uh, cognitive, what you'd like it to be, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Could be like Wilfred of Urgell, Wilfred the Hairy. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Handsome. Well, that's a nice one, isn't it? Of course. Yeah, Mark the Handsome. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the Humane. Martin the First of Aragon. Martin the Humane. <laughs> or you could be like Falk the Fourth of Anjou. Falk the Ill-Tempered. <laughs> I do think Vlad the Impaler is, of course, one of the, the best ones. It's enough to drive kind of... Uh, you know, that, that chill for your spine, doesn't it, really? It's a bit better than being so-and-so the kind. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, Alfonso the Second of Portugal, Alfonso the Leprous. It's probably not a good one to be, is it? Oh, dear. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric the 11th of Sweden. Eric the Lisp and Lame. You see, we have to go through and find out why they're called this. Uh, and then you've got uh, Barzarab of Wallachia, 
and uh, he's Bazarab the Little Impaler. So I don't know if he just impaled little people or he only impaled them a little bit. So it's uh, odd. Yeah, being so and so the Mad is quite a good one, isn't it? Mark the Mad. <laughs> Magnificent, magnanimous. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, so we're only through the M's at the moment. But um, as I say, I'm not reading them all out, just ones I find uh, kind of fun. I'm sure you'll find ones as well that I've missed that uh, are really good. Uh, John V of Portugal, known as John the Nun's Lover. So obviously we can guess who his, uh, who his girlfriend was. Yeah, there's loads something the old. So I guess that's probably one of the most common ones. Uh, the One-Eyed, that's not bad. William the First, Margrave of Messon, William the One-Eyed, um, which is, yeah, pretty cool. The Oppressed, well, it's not good to be the oppressed one. You should be the oppressor. Uh, Dietrich, Margrave of Messon, is uh, the oppressor. So it's pretty hard to be uh, of uh, of Meisen, I would say. <laughs> uh, so and so the Pale, Constantinus the Pale. Well, he obviously didn't get enough sun. Uh, the pious, well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> what else have we got? Uh, the priest hater, Eric the Second of Norway, the priest hater, Eric the priest hater. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The prudent, oh, that's pretty boring. Uh, the quarreller, Frederick of Saxony, Frederick the quarreller, always up for a good argument. Uh, oh, Isabella the Second of Spain's got a good one. Isabella, the queen of sad mischance. Hmm. Yep, what else have we got there? Uh, the Reformer, the Restorer, the Righteous. We've got a Roman Slayer. Kaloyan, I guess he's Bulgarian, the Roman Slayer. Uh, we've missed, of course, ones like the Boneless and things like that. It were quite funny. Oh, there's Turville of Bulgaria, known as Turville the Saviour, the Saver of Europe. So that's uh, pretty cool. It'll be interesting to find out how we got that name. Uh... <laughs> The sorcerer, Vysislav of Polotsk, the sorcerer, Vysislav the sorcerer, Justinian the second, split nose, or Louis the stammerer, Louis the second of France. Yeah, being somebody this strict isn't particularly good, is it? Still, it's probably better than being Peter the first of Portugal, Peter the stutterer. So we've got stammerers and stutterers. Eh, somebody the tall, a few terribles, of course. Uh, Peter the First of Portugal again, known as Peter t the Till the End of the World Passionate. That's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Uh, Garcia of Pamplona, or Garcia the Trembling. <laughs> oh dear. We have Alan, Duke of Brittany, or Alan the Twisted Beard. Yeah, it's not good to be Manuel the Unfortunate, is it? Unlucky, that's not a good one. I've mentioned already Ethelred the Unready. Uh, James the First of England, I didn't know that, known as James the Vain. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, a Virgin Queen, of course, we all know. The Warlike, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the Wench, yeah, Carlotta Joaquina, Queen of Portugal, is known as Carlotta the Wench. Mm -hmm. uh, Constantine the Ninth, Emperor of Byzantium, or Constantine who fights alone. Yeah, the Wicked's quite good, I suppose. Or Donald the Fourth of Leon, or Donald the Wicked. Otherwise, right, okay. And that's it, really. You know, there are a few. I mean, it then goes on through the list through things like uh, the sobriquets and things which are kind of fun. Uh, but uh, I'll leave that for you to look up and have a look. Although, uh, Ducky is quite a funny sobriquet. Princess Victoria Melita of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, known as Ducky. Ducky to her friends. <laughs> or Louis XV, the first gentleman of Europe. Yeah, good Queen Bess. You see, I'm, I'm off now. You see what these rabbit holes are like? I'm already falling down one while I'm talking about them. But yeah, this is one of my favourite ones. And I know it's probably been quite a long video, but I encourage you to have a look at it if you want a good laugh and see what people, you know, how they were referred to these these monarchs or uh, rulers of dukedoms and things like that across Europe. So I hope it was a bit of interest for you. And that was today's Tales from Beyond the Rabbit Hole. And I'm pretty sure a few of you are going to fall down this one as well. So do take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I shall see you again very soon indeed. Bye-bye.